Welcome everybody to another one of my videos. Um, change of scenery as you guys can tell. I haven't done a video in like three or four weeks and you guys, for those of you who are wondering, um, the reason I haven't done a video is because I was in the process of moving. Um, it was kind of, kind of sudden. It was uh, just due to a different issue, you know, personal issues why I moved out of the apartment. Not the apartment, but my studio that you saw that I was living with. Uh, my girlfriend there, well, we moved out, I'm actually at her house now, uh, we're both here, and, uh, there's some new things that are coming, uh, this is our, this is the room, obviously, as you can tell, uh, just a quick, I'll do an actual gaming setup one day when everything's set up, but as you can tell, um, not all my stuff is in here, because this is, not only is it not big enough, but now we actually are going to have a, a game room, um, in the basement, we're setting up in the basement, there's a lot more to do before it actually gets up, hopefully done in like two weeks. We'll have all the old school systems down there and set up and a, a couple of TVs, so it should be nice down there. And uh, that will be cool. And uh, I kept some of this, I only kept uh, the Xbox 360, PS3, original Xbox, modded, and uh, the Wii and the GameCube up here, since those are the ones that get the most playtime. And people would want to play on the bigger screen, even though there will be a big screen downstairs. But um, you'll see what I'm talking about when it happens. So I only keep these systems up here, and I don't keep all their games up here. They're all downstairs. I only keep the ones I'm currently playing in that small black shelf over there. Um, I still have to go through some of the boxes. I still want to bring up some of the Xbox and PS3 games. Right now there's only Xbox there that I've been currently playing. I'll add a few more games that I'm playing from the other systems. And then rotate them downstairs as I'm done with them, and, and so on and so forth. I could just go downstairs if I want to play them. So, even though I lost this, you know, we left the studio apartment, it's actually um, pretty cool here because um, not only do we get our own room like this, um, we also live in a house, and, you know, there's a little bit more room, and our, they were kind enough to let us have the basement here. Um, so, we're going to have our game room set up up there, now, hopefully, in two weeks. But that's an update on what I've been doing, guys. Uh, let's get into this uh, PAX video update. I'm sorry about the light. There's not a lot of light in this room. Um, we might have to get like a lamp or something. It's kind of dark. The only light that there is is that one back there, and that's it. So, um, yeah, so I went to PAX this past weekend. It was great just as much as it was last year. Um, won a lot of free stuff. Um, also, got a lot of, you know, got a few things. And, uh,. Before I actually go into the things, not everything is here. Most of the stuff, important stuff is here. Um, I got like four or five posters. Those have been stored because they're downstairs and I didn't, you know, I'm not bringing those out right now. So those are downstairs, the four or five posters. We already put away all the shirts and washed them that we got. We got like 10, 15 shirts, whoever goes to PAX knows that they throw away shirts like crazy over there. Gaming shirts. So those have been put away too. So those aren't here. But um, I'm, I'm pretty sure everything else that I got, the majority of it's here. So, uh, the first thing I won that I can't actually show you because it's inside my computer is I actually won, a, uh, my girlfriend won 8 gig DDR3 RAM 1600 from Kingston HyperX. So, I already installed it on my computer, so my computer used to have 6 gigs, now it has 12 gigs, and I have two spare, um, for a future project in mind that I will keep a secret for now. So, um, because you guys will definitely be interested in it. That will be coming maybe in like a month, month and a half. Um, so yeah, we won that, and then I also won, um, a Western Digital Velocity Raptor hard drive, 600 gig, we won that, like, the first five seconds we were in there, it was crazy. So those are the two, one of the, two of the big things that we won for free there, in raffles, and, and filling out their surveys and stuff. Um, I'll do what I won first, and then I'll actually go into the stuff that, uh, the stuff that I bought. So, um, this came with the memory, I don't use this, it's a HyperX. Uh, memory module. It's really dark in here. I need to figure this out for next video. Sorry about that, guys, but that's what I have to do for now. I also got, um, well, we also won these, uh, Xbox 360 headsets. I'm actually getting rid of these to my mom. Um, her and her, her she's going to use these. Um, it's a 320 from Size and Hour, $150 retail rally if you want one of these. So we won that. Also won these at a show. They're uh, Steel Series Pro headsets. I 
also on this mouse, Seal Series uh, optical mouse. Unfortunately, I don't. I already had this list is gonna go, but I want Assassin's Creed Revelations for the PS3. I already have it for the Xbox. They were giving away Rift in the beginning of the in the beginning of the convention to everybody. And one of these Call of Duty Call of Duty controller that I've been using. And I believe that that's everything I won. Um, if I'm missing one, or, oh, I also won. Um, I haven't already taken out because I've been using them. Uh, same company that made that 320 uh, headset for the 360. I also won their um, cheaper $30 headset. It's like uh, just a chat headset, much better than the Xbox One. $30. I would have easily bought them and uh, won those for free. So those were great too. So let's start off with something you guys might have noticed. I'm wearing glasses, even though I usually do wear glasses, you can tell they're different. That's because I have contacts on, and I'm actually wearing the Call of Duty edition with the Call of Duty case, as you can tell right here. Gunners. If you guys haven't heard of Gunners, check out their website, gunneroptics.com, I think is what it is. If not, Google it. They um, are supposed to improve your vision and take away the glare and stuff like that, and not give you headaches when you're playing games and looking at a computer for long sessions of time. I knew about them last year, never actually bought a pair. I was hoping to win some this year, but um, I didn't. So I bought these. They were 85 bucks. Um, they're great. Um, as soon as I started using them um, a couple days ago, I could tell that I'm never going to stop using them every time I play games. And, um, you know, even these, use a PC, I want to be wearing these. Um, you have to put them on to experience them. They really take away the glare. It makes you feel much more comfortable, not headaches and stuff like that. So they're really cool, and uh, these are great. So, that was the first thing I bought. The next thing we bought here, oh sorry, I also won this, but this wasn't anything special. Rockman 2 Country Pack 2 that they gave away. The next thing I found over there was uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 for the original Xbox. I've been looking for this for a while, but every st if you try to buy it on eBay or go to a store, like uh, the store I had, they sell it for 50 bucks. wasn't going to pay that much for this, so because I'm not the hugest fighting fan, because I'm not that good at it. I actually found this for 20 bucks, so I took it complete at PAX, so they were selling it for 20 bucks, I wasn't going to let that pass up, I think that's fine. I also picked up a game that Pete Dorff, if you guys are familiar with his channel, um, recommended, and that's, I can't even pronounce this, because this is like my first Japanese game I think I've ever bought for my collection, Hakui Demon of the Fleeting Blossom. Supposedly I remember Pete Dorff talking about it, it's a PSP, it's more like a story game instead of being a... Uh, Instead of being an actual game, where um, I can read you the back real quick. In Hakui, a young woman by the name of Shizara comes to Kawada in a search of her missing father and soon encounters danger. When it becomes clear that Shunapsi are also searching for her father, Shuaza is put under their protection. So it, it's pretty much a, a story game, but Pito recommended it if you like story games, but more than gameplay. You kind of just choose like what to do kind of thing, like Mass Effect where it chooses from a text and you choose what you actually want to do and it impacts the story. That's what this game is like, so I was looking forward to trying that. The next thing I got was, uh, I found SSX Tricky, the box is all beat up, but SSX Tricky for the Game Boy Advance, four bucks. So that was cool. And something I'm really excited about that Gamester talked about in the All Gen Gamers podcast. I'm throwing these out hoping you guys have heard of them. But if you haven't, you know, check out Gamester81 on YouTube. Shout out to him. Um, he talked about something called Superboy. Now this is really cool. It was 80 bucks, as you can tell in the tag. And that's the retail price for it. Got it at PAX. It's pretty much a portable Super Nintendo. You attach the cartridges up here. Um, and, you know, it's battery powered. And you play Super Nintendo on, on a handheld. Um... It's absolutely great. It looks like a Super Nintendo controller, as you can tell. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the cool thing is that you can connect this to your TV. If you ever go somewhere, you just bring this, connect it to your TV. There's two Super Nintendo ports down here. So you can actually connect a Super Nintendo controller to it and play this on your TV. So it's like carrying a smaller version of a Super Nintendo and put it on your TV when you go to vacation or something. Or you could just play it portably. So I haven't actually opened this yet because my Super Nintendo games are all still in a box, as I told you before, so... That was cool. I did forget that I did want something else. My girlfriend won this as well. Hyper X. Sorry, my screen just went black and it just flipped up. Uh, she won a 64 gigabyte Hyper X Kingston 
USB 3.0 memory sticks. So this was absolutely great. These retail for 130 and we were able to win these as well. So we won a lot of good stuff. We were all over the place with raffles and stuff. Won a lot more than last year, that's for sure. Especially when it comes to actual work. So the last thing I actually bought, now as you guys know, I got an arcade stick a while ago for the original Xbox and the Wii that I showed off in one of my prior videos. I finally got one for the Xbox 360, and I can't find the zipper to this. So, I have the box, but it's already put away in storage. But it's a Street Fighter vs. Tekken. Um, it's their special edition, or versus edition, they call it, which is a little bigger than normal. And there it is right there. I hope you guys can see, like, decent amount of the artwork, because I know... It's not that light in here, but the arcade stick is great. Um, it looks really sleek with the black on the bottom and everything. And it came with this carrying bag, which is what I was trying to take it out of. So it was cool. It was This was 200 bucks, same price that Mad Cat sell, sells it on there. I got this mostly not for fighters. Like I said, I'm not a big fighting fan. I got these mostly for arcade games like Sin Mora and stuff like that. Speaking of Sin Mora, we also won two codes for the PS3. Um, I got... Um, Shoot Many Robots, I think is what the game's called. We got that for PS3 for free and a digital code, which I already used but I haven't played. And then we got Sin Mora as well for the Xbox 360, which is a great side scroll shooter that I've been, that I use this with already. Oops, there we go. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I got um, from PAX. There was a couple more. I got one or two board games as well, but this isn't. A, I don't know if anyone's interested in board games. So, um, because I do have a lot of those too. I have like 50 board games or more because I like playing with people, as you can tell. But yeah, um, that's everything I got at PAX, guys. PAX was great. There was so much to do, so much to see. I could be here all day talking about everything I saw, but, um, man, yeah, PAX is cool. You guys need to head out there. If you're gamers, you need to go to PAX, PAX East or PAX Prime, whichever one you can get to. One's in Seattle, I believe, and this one's in Boston, which is the one I went to. You want a lot of cool stuff, you get a lot of cool stuff, and uh, there's a lot of other little small stuff I want. Like, I just remembered that I won Sonic pins, and I actually don't know where they are, because they should have been right here, but now that I think about it, I'm not sure where they are anymore. I'll find them, they're somewhere in this room, but um, I want cool Sonic 3 generation pins, you know, um, cool things like that, but they're small and they're put away somewhere, so I wasn't going to ramble and take them all out. So, um... That's pretty much everything, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's everything I got at PAX, majorly, major stuff anyway. And uh, look forward to my next video. My next video might possibly be a game setup tour when everything is done in like two or three weeks. So look forward to that, and uh, thank you guys for watching.